Cheers, brother. Um, Lovren. <laughs> wow. Dejan. <laughs> we might all agree on this one. The self-proclaimed <laughs> best defender in the world. Apparently he's, he he one proclaimed himself to be world. one of the best. One defenders. of the best defenders in the world. What's wrong with having some self-confidence? No, I, I, 100% nothing be confident. Wrong, nothing is wrong with yeah, that. But, confident, but, but back but, it up. But when you bottle a World Cup final and play badly, when you yeah. when, when you lose a World Cup final, when you lose a Champions League final, when you, when you get relegated by <laughs> England in the dying moments of the, of the inaugural Nations League. And it was you who left your man. Yes, it, it, it does come back to bite you in the butt. It's a little mm. bit like, look, he's a better player then, but it's a bit like, what's his name? Bentner. When he claims That's it. it. When, you claim, when you, when you self-proclaim something, every time your team loses mm. or you make mm. a mistake, it is going to be perpetuated. You know, we, we used to talk about Wayne Rooney earlier on in the show and about how the English bigged him up to mm. be something more than he was. That would only be embarrassing for Rooney if he did that himself. And, I, you know, mm. I, I've never heard... The only player I've actually heard talk about himself as one of the best in the world is Ronaldo, and he delivers. So mm. it's one of those ones, if you're going to talk about it, if you're going to be like Michael Jackson and like I'm the king of pop, mm. rock and soul, you've got to go out there and smash yeah, record sales world, yeah. and have tours that break records. Yeah. And Michael Jackson did that. Ronaldo breaks records. He smashes it. Dejan Lovren, the Sits only thing, on the you, the only thing you smashed was your elbow into Sergio <laughs> Ramos's face. And I don't really understand what kind of achievement that is in football, sir. <laughs> What, I mean, what was your opinion on what he, he talked? Was it tweeted or he Instagram? Yeah, no, he did um, Instagram Live. Yeah, Instagram, Instagram Live. Yeah. No, for me, my thing is like, I saw nothing wrong with it because it's like, no, okay, okay, two things. First of all, I think that Liverpool as a whole, you need to give this whole Ramos thing off. It's finished. It's done. Mm. Why do you keep going back against it? Even if um, Salah was there, I still think that Real Madrid would have won. Stop holding on, on to that. And I think that's a, a serious mm. issue. But I think beyond that is like, it's what Lord Lo- Lovren is. You know, mm. I like a bit of beef b- b- between players. And Ramos is not the nicest oh, kind of dude, on. man. Ramos, he, he is the king of the edgy, nasty kind of this. So I saw nothing wrong with that, with what um, Lovren did. So I don't know why he's not going to be giving it a token to no, like my, my and point, everything. So. My point on this is, right, everyone complained about Sergio Ramos. That's fine. Yeah, what he did, he is obviously a bit... He's a nasty player. He's a nasty player. Everyone he's a winner. Do, no, everyone he's can. A do, yeah, he's a winner, but he also pushes the boundaries of yeah. what's right and what's wrong, and he should be condemned for that. Lovren comes out and says he had premeditated an attack on Ramos, and he celebrated it. Why is he not being condemned as well? Surely two wrongs make two wrongs, so he should be condemned for that. Also, he's admitted that he intentionally elbowed someone. Why is no one invested? Why are the the FA or UEFA not saying, "Hold on a minute." We're going to do you for that. You can't come out and say, I intentionally yeah, yeah, elbowed yeah, yeah, someone yeah. in the face. And not only that, come out and say, oh, now on to England, blah, blah, blah. And now you're, you've been relegated. Yeah, I You think lost the World Cup yeah, final. Yeah, 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 you lost the Champions League final. You got relegated. Maybe just shut up. It's true. Do you know That's what it comes down to. I don't really care. I mean, the, the, the Liverpool obsession with this Champions League final. Uh, no, no, Again, is, there was another, there was another quote this week. I'm not sure who said it about, oh, they ganged up on... So and Van Dyke. Yeah, Van Dyke. Yeah. But who did they, they who did they gang up on? They ganged up gang- on uh, Trent. Yeah, Martin, they ganged up yeah. on Trent. And I was like, okay, well, that's you, you go for the mm. weakest. That that's that's, that's football. That's, that's survival of the mm. fittest that happens about when men play sport and men live in mm. life. That's you know, it's again they weren't ganging up on him like you know, this is this is you know, Trent who was trying to bang some pregnant woman's <laughs> Uh, to a pregnant, to a pregnant woman behind her husband's back. Do you know what I mean, he's he, you know, he's 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 a man of the world. Do you know what I mean? He's fine with a little bit of argy bargy on a football pitch. But Liverpool fans are sort of like so obsessed with this 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 final. I th- honestly, they will still be talking about it in two or three years' time. The, what Lovren's done, I don't have an issue with what he tweeted out or mm. Instagram posted live or whatever. I mean, I think that Sergio Ramos himself liked the tweet. Yeah, so, yeah. The, Sergio and Ramos has probably gone fair play to you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would do this if I'm having mm. a bit of beef mm. on Twitter with someone mm. and they do something funny, they get one over on me. Cool. Like, I, yeah. I, I literally will go great and I'll get on with the rest of my life because I've, I've actually got a life. But where it's embarrassing for Lovren and where Liverpool fans must be thinking, shut your mouth, is that you bring attention to the club when it's like, you know, it's a bit like Conor McGregor in the UFC. Mm. The way he behaves before a fight, when he wins, he can walk yeah, around with, with, with a bollocks this big mm. and be like, <laughs> I am the man. When he loses, he has no choice but to do what he always does and be very, 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 mm. very humble and be like, I got beat by the better. Because you can't talk like that. You can't run the mouth off and then get beat. And the way I think uh, Lovren's gone wrong is he gives it the big one when it's going well and then cries like a little baby when it goes wrong. Instead of going, do you know what? 
I, I would we'll be beat by the better people today, and that's where I think I actually think he fits well in at Liverpool. As a lot of Man United fans that I used to live with in Manchester will refer to that place as they call it self pity city, mm. and it's Lovren fits in perfectly there. He well, really he, does he, because he it's he just blocked, it's self pity all day long. He blocked everyone's Instagram comments afterwards. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> so he ran he ran his mouth, got humbled, and then said, "Right, I don't want to talk to anyone." For all his toys out of the pram, blocked everyone's Instagram <laughs> comments. It's just it's ridiculous. But it's, it's one of those it's one of those like karma irony things. Yeah, you know, but it's yeah. like you know, I mean, but just don't say anything. Do, but you, oh, no, no, but you have to come on, man. Do you think? Right. But do you think that FIFA, again? I, I I think not. I I look at it like it was one of those things. Do you think that FIFA or UEFA should investigate him for admitting that he elbowed somebody? I think they'd probably. To be honest, what I've heard is that the creation boss is actually going to have a talking to with him. So I think mm. for FIFA and UEFA, if they say, look, handle this internally reprimand him maybe you mm. ban him for a few games then i think that because i think croatia are actually going to even handle this yeah internally so i think if that is happen mm. i'm handling internally then i think people you for them they can then wash their hands from it so i think yeah, yeah. they have to then do anything i would handle it internally yeah. because i'll be saying to him listen mate you're making us look bad yeah yeah, yeah, one, yeah, yeah. stop <laughs> that nonsense until after the mm. game like for mm. me it's i'm one of these for me in life mm. no matter how confident i am about a football match or, or a competition i was competing in when i was younger winning a business deal I don't celebrate until so far after the fact, like it, it's cast iron. And I think one, don't do that. And secondly, don't be admitting you'd elbowed people because I wouldn't want you getting suspended retrospectively. Exactly. And then you being, and look, there's not, there's no den denying it for me. I think Gary Neville has come out and said it. And I think he's right. I think he's a very, very good defender, Dejan Lovren. I think he's a top class know, defender. There's no decent, doubt about decent. it. And Croatia especially need him. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe more so than Liverpool. I think Liverpool with Van Dijk, who is mm -hmm. arguably the best defender in the world right now, uh, definitely, I think him in and the world, arguably the best. Arguably, in the world yeah, right on now. form. Arguably, on right form. now, arguably, he's in the right conversation. Now. Golden Koulibaly. He's in the conversation. He's, he's there with them, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, that's why I said arguably. But I think you know they've got young Joe Gomez, Gomez coming through. Very good, very class good. player. Very good. Mm -hmm. But from a Croatian point of view, it's like, mate, we don't need you getting a, a two match or a three match ban for admitting to violent conduct just after to, the ju fact. Yeah. Just to get a few likes on the internet, like literally, <laughs> um, no it, it's almost as embarrassing as uh, mm. the, the the rap song that was released by Lukaku. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Right. The, now listen, I, I am not a, a and, 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 and of this rap, is um, Jesse, Jesse Lingard. Lingard. Yeah. Lingard. Yeah. Lingard is the guy, you know. Oh, man. Lingard is the man. And, funny. Look, again, Lingard could go on social media mm. and give it the big one because he scored a worldie against America and he got the equaliser mm. against Croatia. So do you know what it's called? Cool. When I think players should stay away from social media is is when they've had a bad result or yeah. a bad performance. Then it's a little bit like put out one of those. We'll come back fighting tweets mm. and hide and for a few it. days. Yeah. None of that sort of like, you know, dancing mm. in the corridor of a hotel when your team got slapped or <laughs> relegated, Lovren. But there we go. Listen, we'll take a few calls from Liverpool fans. One about Dejan Lovren. Is he embarrassing you? Give us a call now, 0203 606 0315. We've all agreed on something for once. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Fan Park Live. What is your name? Yeah, Daniel, we were actually talking on Twitter and you said that you were going to have me on to discuss this hazard debate. Now, I know you're talking about Lovren and Ramos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what, mate, 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 mate. Forward do you know what, thinking. Do you, know what, do you know what we'll do? It's my guy. Um, Javern, <laughs> call, call back in a minute and we'll get you back on, on, on a separate thread. Is that all right? Yeah, that's cool. That's sweet. No Cheers, mate. Thank you. I forgot to give yeah, this guy's yeah. number to Javern earlier. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, put another call through, sweet. Blah, 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 through, please, Javern. What a Liverpool fan, I really do. Hello, welcome to Fan Park Live. What's your name? Hello. Hello. Hello, hey, you're right. Yes, mate. Who's this? Mohammed, man. Mohammed. Mohammed. <laughs> yeah. Talk, talk, talk well, to me. How, how embarrassing is Dejan Lovren? <laughs> He's not that good, to be honest, in my opinion. But basically, this guy with um, shades on, with them tinted glasses on, I don't know his name is. My name is um, Halfop, aka Double H. Uh, uh, his real right, name well, is actually. Right, no, I'm not going to be your name like that. <laughs> yeah, all right, right. okay. Whatever your name is, yeah. Let's Whoa, just get one weird. thing straight, yeah. Put some respect on Ronaldo's name, my brother. Please, innit? I don't, so, I don't, I don't have to do anything, troll, bro. If you want to troll, go online and troll. Put some respect. It's not trolling, it's telling the talk. truth. Put, put some respect on the name. It's not trolling, it's telling the respect. truth, bro. Show some respect, man. Yes, yes, yes. It's telling <laughs> the truth. Yes, Mohammed, you tell him. It's your you opinion. tell him, Mo. Show some respect, man. You it's think Ronaldo is a Fellaini or something? Ronaldo is the best player, man. Show some respect. He's decent at the best. Ronaldo is decent at the best, I'm sure. Show some respect. Oh, nah, you can hear. What's your agenda with Ronaldo? Tell me. It's not an agenda. I'm just trying to tell people the the truth. It's your choice whether you want to accept that that, that Did... truth or not. So what are you gonna? So what are you gonna tell me next? Mourinho's better than Fergie. Is that what you're gonna tell me next? <laughs> yeah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. That logic, I, I would not be. Surprised. Logic, yeah. I wouldn't say that. All I'm saying is that Mourinho is one of the greatest managers of all time. But I never Great. said it's yeah, Mourinho yeah, over Fergie. It's not not good for us. 
He's a fraud for us, if you can tell you that. <laughs> you understand? Put some respect on Ronaldo. Well, name, Mourinho did, did win at Juventus that, that, in Turin. That, that. I don't have to respect. put. No, I don't have respect. You know Cristiano is, is not as, as as good as he is. You 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 know it. So you're you're just lying. You're you're basically telling lies now. You know that your what you're saying is not true about Cristiano. So it's true. Come on, thank you. What do you mean? What's true? Tell me what's true. Tell me. You know Tell deep down true. that you don't believe what you're saying about Cristiano. You just don't want to admit it well, on I the phone. Well, I think Ronaldo is beyond the legend. No, you know you don't. No, you don't. You're you're lying. No, you don't. Why why is he lying? And FA Cup every single trophy. Has Hazard won a Champions League? You tell me this. How? Why are you silent? I was, for I was... Week? Has Hazard won a Champions League? <laughs> <laughs> To almost make Terry fall down, but that's the last legend. No, Modi, when nah, he said, I can't mean. hear you, yeah. I'm silent. Oh, no, my no, 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 no. Keep talking, sorry, bro. No, 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 look. Oh, I, never said, I never said I, I, achievements, man. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to phone up until you said Ronaldo ain't great, brother. If that is he isn't case, great, he isn't great. Cristiano isn't great. Glasses, I don't understand where you're getting his glasses. opinion from. Don't use no, achievements. Don't, don't use achievements. Wait, use. Wait. It's based on who what you are as a player. Uh, 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 when we had the when we had the conversation nonsense. earlier about Harry Kane, you said about achievements. Okay then, oh, Mohammed, oh, Mohammed, ask oh, me this. Oh no no, go back to that. No 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 so because is Harry Kane needs I achievements smell... because he's not that great a, a player. So yeah. he needs achievements. But you said, you said Ronaldo's not that great a player. You said Ronaldo's not that great a player And then well. you took away his achievements. I smell hippo shit. I because, smell hippo shit. Because his achievements have been based upon the, the team he's had around him. So I don't, I, don't, I don't place his achievements that high. It's based on the team he's had around him. Mohamed, can I, I, are, you, are you still on the line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here, man. Um, can you answer me? The How many... Are... Please, please answer me this. How many goals has Cristiano Ronaldo well, scored in a World Cup? World Cup. Cup. Yeah, World Cup. Come on, don't, 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 don't ruin it. <laughs> Mohamed, Mohamed, how many goals has Cristiano Ronaldo scored in a World Cup knockout game? So it's about goals now, yeah? It's about just goals answer me. Just, it's a simple question. Well, how many goals... If you're saying that, yeah, in his whole entire life, yeah, Ronaldo has scored more goals than Hazard. If that's what you want to say... Hazard is a better understand. player than Cristiano. You know it and I know it. Thank you. Simple. You, I know Thank it. You. Nah, nah, yes, man, you I'm do. Not Thank you. Simple. I'm not a troll. Mohamed, brother, listen, um, in your opinion, do you yeah. think that Have Hope really believes this or do you just think he's looking for like YouTube fame? <laughs> brother, brother, he's in it for the dough, innit? Simple as that, innit? He's in it for yeah, no one believes you. Know, you know, no one believes you. I go to watch the fan camps. I go watch fan camps in United stands, yeah? There's a guy that believes in Mourinho. He... He, he's a troll himself. He does it for the money, bro. They're all here for the dough, bro. Simple as that, innit? I say how it is, innit? I don't be around the bush, innit? I say how it is. You know what I mean? Thank you, man. You know, Hello, a wonderful, wonderful I appreciate call. That guy. I don't always agree with what Mohammed says, no, but he's no, right no, now. No. I honestly do. Honestly, I don't. Think, I don't even dude, think man. you believe it. Deep down inside, honestly, well, no, 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 you don't no, believe it. You don't believe it. You don't believe it. You don't believe it. Like you it's his, it. it's his farcical that people put Messi and Cristiano in the same category. It is the no. biggest. It's one of the biggest lies it's <laughs> in the lie. history of football. It's it is a lie. It's not a lie. It's an opinion. Messi is on a different planet. You can't lie in an opinion unless you unless you're giving fact. You can lie about facts. You can give a false fact, but you can't lie about an opinion. You can't. First of all, you can't have that opinion. Why not? You, Why not? Because it's Sorry. it's because <laughs> it's stupid. It's stupid to have that opinion of putting Cristiano Messi in the but same that, category. Okay, it's a stupid opinion to have. That's fine for you. To, you can turn around and say, "I think your opinion is wrong. I think your opinion mm. is stupid." But you can't say it's a lie unless you think somebody is sitting it, there and no, just it is, making it, it up. It is a lie. But no, it is a lie because no, but this, the but thing is, is, these opinions why are they lying about it? Are based why on are fact. Because anybody who understands football but will know that. Why are they lying about it? Why are they lying about it? You're lying about it because if no, no, no. Two things. If you don't understand football, then okay. But then it's not, can, a, then it's not a lie, then is it? You. Then it's not a lie, is okay, it? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Hence why I said it. it's two, two things. First of all, it's it's a, it's a lie if you understand football. If you don't understand football, then okay. you don't have. So you, go, you back to, go back to the lying again. So why? What is in it for any? What is in it for David from Dagenham to mm. lie about how good Ronaldo is? What is he achieving from it? What is he being given? The why me- would he lie? Because the because people want to but, be but, part but, of but, a group. 
and they are willing to lie because they want to be part of the, the cool group that says, hey, hey, Christian, Christian, what group, group is this? So there's no, you stand as the good of all time. There's, there's no like loyalty that. card. There's no membership. You do realize every, yeah, because everybody, no wants, club, to, everybody wants to be cool and in the in club of like, Christian is one of the greatest. He's but one then, of the goats. He's, no, he, 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 he's been challenging no, Messi for so long, which is bull crap. To flip that, to flip that, you could say someone wants to be cool because they want to be the only one who doesn't say that and they want to be the individual who's like, Ronaldo isn't great. Because do you know they how hard be cool. counter culture is? Do you know how hard it is to be is cool. standing on this island for so long? Do you know the insults I've had to take? They are because yeah, so now you can, yeah, because you're, you're trying to attack me on the street. You're, you're you're you can't, but you can't insulted. stop now. You're getting insulted <laughs> because you're chatting absolute bullshit. No, 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 no. That's I'm, it. People, I'm getting insulted the, because this is how the truth works. <laughs> in time, no, not true. People opinion. will look back and say, "Oh yeah, half of was right all, all along." No, That's what they'll that. say. They won't. In, in ten or fifteen years' won't. time, people will say, "You they know won't. what? Double H, I appreciate you. You no. stood out alone the... against <laughs> all these liars, and you stood out alone, and you stood firm. So people will remember me. Uh, actually, bruv, so I will probably remember bruv, me. This is, this is fair enough. I, this is, I'm doing crazy. this for legacy, bruv, bruv, This is not for money. I'm doing this for legacy. This is not a civil rights movement. I'm well, doing this, this, is, for this, is, this is not somebody saying like I don't know like uh, you know I, I'm giving an example here like sort of uh, you know go back to civil civil rights history where people used to pretend that certain what, what this have to do with on, civil whoa, rights? Whoa. This is I'll give you an example. You know, back in the day, like people used to believe that certain types of people had different brains from other types of people. This isn't something where like people that used to believe one thing in 10 years realize they were wrong because mm. they've become educated people are still going to rate ronaldo in a hundred years time no, as being one of the greatest record footballers ever they are not going to change no, you're not fighting a social justice fight here mm. no. nothing is the wrong record somebody's books opinion always put bro. them in the same category the as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a goal scorer like you're, you're, Wall, uh, but you're sitting there like talking mm. as if you're fighting against like the social oppression of football i'm the truth teller the reason why you brought to the studio is that you said you know what we need someone just to tell the truth and i'm it's fine. We'll tell, I'll we'll do, do it. You that. We oh, got I'll you in the studio. That's why you brought me here. Brought you brought you here because we want to tell the truth. Rob, we brought you and here. I, and I'll do it. We brought, I'll do it. We brought you <laughs> fine, here. I'll do we it. We brought you here because Adam wasn't free. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's the lie. only reason that's you're here. Adam couldn't make it. So that's what the conversation you have. Hope. Terry, you have told me that you brought me here because we wanted to tell the truth. Show them the messages. Show them the messages, man. No, don't show those things. Show them the proof. Yeah, show them. I'm glad to guys. I'm glad to tell the truth. This is your chance to provide fact. I'm glad to tell the truth. It's cool. And hopefully you guys can learn. I want to teach you guys. Because obviously you guys are lacking in certain aspects of the beautiful game of football, which I know a lot about. Hence Lady, why I'm the number ladies, one analyst. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies, you know. ladies, today is International Men uh, International Day of the Man, International Men's Day. Men's Day, yeah. Hey. Big, big focus on mental health. So, you know, if any of you are suffering, <laughs> um, make sure you call someone. Samaritans, mm. give us a bell, have a little chat. I think you need a big hug. Yeah, have hope. I really, uh, really do. Man. And I think you guys need to stop being led by the media and start it's thinking for yourselves. I do as think for in, in, in individuals. I do. You, no, you, 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 you don't. You don't. You, you listen to the media and you're led by the media. So. <laughs> Someone said, "Terry, allow it. Keep it professional. It's all banter. We get on. Really, it's just a joke. Like, hang on. He's not mentally ill. He's just. He's just got his opinion. He's a character. <laughs> That's why he wears the hat and glasses indoors. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I." 